Okay, children, sitting comfortably. Good, 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 good. A little lesson. Some people have asked. I, I want to get into online racing, but I, I'm scared of mucking it up. Right, okay, I'm going to go for the basics. I'm going to try not to repeat myself. Okay, first up, crew chief. Get it, put it on, make sure your spotter's on. Yeah, unless you want whiplash from looking around where the cars are so you don't hit another player, uh, put crew chief on. It'll tell you when somebody's at the side of you. Okay, that's the first thing. Crew chief, please put crew chief on. Make your life so much easier. Make your racing a lot safer. Second up, get this thing started. It's old, all right. Second, if you, sorry, when you go off the track, come back on the track safely look make sure you're not gonna stall the engine that's better make sure you're not gonna do that and then a load of cars coming up behind you clatter into you look look for a space get on the track and stay over on the side of the track while you get back up to speed off the racing line yep Safety, safety, safety. Um, you're not racing AI. They do not have cat-like reflexes like AI. They're human players. Yep. And you're playing a game with other human players. It's not all about yourself. It's about the race, yeah? Right then. The biggest problem, and this goes for real life Formula One drivers of the highest caliber. T1, lap one. It's a running joke. There are people, whoa, as we get deafened by the echo off the bridge, there are people who think that they are going to win or lose that race on the first corner. They're going to come in from position 15 and pass everybody by going in with the hair on fire and the tires on fire. And there's always one <laughs> that will break a little bit too late or go in just, just completely out of control and take out half the field. So, how do you get around that? Simple. If you're over here on the inside, go around the corner on the inside and stay on the inside. Everything's gonna happen over there. All the drama is over there. If you can't get on the inside, then go on the outside. But stay wide on the outside. Don't go around at the max possible speed. Yeah? Take this as turn one. I've got I'm on the outside. I can't go on the inside. I'm gonna go around at a speed where I can avoid all the shenanigans going on. Preferably you want to be on the inside because any shenanigans is going to go flying away from you. Right, so that's the great T1. Now if you can get around T1 clean, you're going to put yourself up a few places and you won't have to do anything. Right, next up, don't drive at 100% drive at a pace that you can be consistent and you're not going to be on the edge and going off the track yeah give yourself some headroom give yourself a chance right racecraft itself all your passing is done in a corner yeah All of it. It's all done in the corner. You stand
standard corner is wide apex wide one smooth arc maximizing the amount of road you're using cutting that angle of that corner down making the corner wider so you can go through faster the old adage of slowing fast out doesn't quite work though because there's other lines all you're passing usually is going to be either entering the corner or on the straight after the corner but it's all set up on the corner so you're either going to outbreak them so you're coming in on a shallow line and then going wide which is fast in slow out yeah or I'm going to show you here which is the normal one is slow in fast out but we're not going on the apex I'm now going to turn now this part of the corner is massively wide massively shallow yeah braking late turning in and I can get on the power earlier that what that does it makes it that my speed down this straight is going to be higher than the person I'm trying to pass and I can pass them on the straight yeah so there's three lines first line is turning late on the stair hit a, hit a wall um, turning late so the second part of the corner the exit is, is, is shallower yeah so you've got a faster exit speed the next one is your standard in slow out fast one big curve yeah which is that kind of thing getting clatter in the wall um, or you're going to get somebody out on the brakes and you're going to go up the inside of them you can try it on the outside but that's a bit more tricky but, so that's fast in but you're going to be slow out but if you've passed them in the corner they've got to get around you so then you can drive defensively instead of driving over here drive here it can still get around you but it's so much narrower and also you can position your car coming into a corner so if you think he's going to outbreak you don't come into the corner over here because he'll just outbreak you there come into the corner over here he's then got to go around the outside he's got to go the long way around so he'll back out of it it's defensive driving obviously don't be doing this every three seconds yeah make you move and stick in yeah don't keep changing positions Ooh, what to do what to do what else is there one last thing you're coming up behind a car yeah you can faint him you can put him in a position where he's slow coming into a corner yeah you're not going to outbreak him but say the next corner's a right hander i can just do this and the other car will move to block but obviously now he's on the tighter shallower slower line because you've moved back out to the outside and you can line him up to get a good higher exit speed his corner's compromised because he went defensive that's the basics that's 101 other things to note would be you are not going to pass everybody at every corner you might not even pass somebody for an entire lap or two laps take your time pick your moments if it's 50 50 if the door's slightly open don't go for it because 50 percent you might do it might pass him but on the other side 50 percent you might not make it you'll take him out of the race and take yourself out of the race so you've gone from say position three to position you've lost and taken the second place guy out as well and ruined his race be patient if you're back to this giving yourself headroom if you're just driving happily within your skill set and the guy in front's on the edge defending right on the edge he's going to make a mistake he's human again it goes back to crew chief where the AI has got eyes in the back of its head a human hasn't may not know you're going for that on the take 
and then just takes the normal line and bang. Whereas the AI would see you out of the eyes in the back of his head. So just wait for a mistake. You can force mistakes by, you know, doing the fake, you know, going up for the inside or whatever and putting him in the wrong, but in a defensive position. No, you forced a mistake, take that as a mistake to, to your advantage. It was his mistake, not yours. But don't try and make gaps where there are no gaps. Because ultimately, you're there to have a good time. And taking for people out of the race, it's not a good time for them. And usually, you'll take yourself out of the race as well. Or you certainly won't be racing with them again if you're driving around banging off them. So one of the big peeves is there's two cars coming up to this left hander. I'm on the inside. I can come into this bend faster than normal. Yeah. And dink, 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 dink. I'm round, but he's been dinked off the track. Oh, Robin's racing. Nah, no, that's just, you know. You knew what was going to happen and you, you just thought I'll ruin his race so that I can get higher up in the race. I'm alright Jack, racing for myself. Again, not community racing, you won't be asked back. <laughs> Talking of community racing, I will leave a link in the description below for SOT, which is where I race. So if you want to come along and have a go, do it. Join the Discord group, jump in a race. We race just for fun, it's not ultra competitive. There's a wide range of skill levels. Um, so if you're slow, don't worry, we've got slow races. If you're fast, don't worry, we've got aliens. Um, jump in, have a go, that's the only way you're going to do it. Don't be scared of it. Come along, have a crack, have a laugh, get on the voice comms. Anything you're unsure about, ask. The more you do it, the more you learn, the more fun you'll have. They'll open up online racing. It's not difficult, it's just using your brain. Racing, racing safe and remembering one golden rule, you're not there to win, you're there to race. And don't ruin anybody else's races while you're doing it. That simple, that simple. Because if you don't ruin other people's races, they won't ruin yours. You'll end up in a group of racers who are all Curtis and are all racing to race, not to win. All right, hope that helps, adios.